section four of the relations of saint teresa of avila translated by david lewis this librivox recording is in the public domain relation four of the graces the saint received in salamanca at the end of lent 1571 i found myself the whole of yesterday in great desolation and except at communion did not feel that it was the day of the resurrection last night being with the community i heard one of them singing how hard it is to be living away from god as i was then suffering the effect of that singing on me was such that a numbness began in my hands and no efforts of mine could hinder it but as i go out of myself in raptures of joy so then my soul was thrown into a trance through the excessive pain and remained entranced and until this day i had not felt this a few days previously i thought that the vehement impulses were not so great as they used to be and now it seems to me that the reason is what i have described i know not if it is so hitherto the pain had not gone so far as to make me beside myself and as it is so unendurable and as i retain the control of my senses it made me utter loud cries beyond my power to restrain now that it has grown it has reached this point of piercing me and i understand more of that piercing which our lady suffered for until to-day as i have just said i never knew what that piercing was my body was so bruised that i suffer even now when i am writing this for my hands are as if the joints are loosened and in pain you my father will tell me when you see me whether this trance be the effect of suffering or whether i felt it or whether i am deceived i was in this great pain till this morning and being in prayer i fell into a profound trance and it seemed to me that our lord had taken me up in spirit to his father and said to him whom thou hast given to me i give to thee and he seemed to draw me near to himself this is not an imaginary vision but one most certain and so spiritually subtle that it cannot be explained he spoke certain words to me which i do not remember some of them referred to his grace which he bestows on me he kept me by him for some time as you my father went away yesterday so soon and i consider the many affairs which detain you so that it is impossible for me to have recourse to you for comfort even when necessary for i see that your occupations are most urgent i was for some time in pain and sadness as i was then in desolation as i said before that helped me and as nothing on earth i thought had any attractions for me i had a scruple and feared i was beginning to lose that liberty this took place last night and to-day our lord answered my doubt and said to me that i was not to be surprised for as men seek for companions with whom they may speak of their sensual satisfactions so the soul when there is any one who understands it seeks those to whom it may communicate its pleasures and pains and is sad and mourns when it can find none he said to me thou art prosperous now and thy works please me as he remained with me for some time i remembered that i had told you my father that these visions passed quickly away he said to me that there was a difference between these and the imaginary visions and that there could not be an invariable law concerning the graces he bestowed on us for it was expedient to give them now in one way now in another after communion i saw our lord most distinctly close beside me and he began to comfort me with great sweetness and said to me among other things thou beholdest me present my daughter it is i show me thy hands and to me he seemed to take them and put them to his side and said behold my wounds thou art not without me finish the short course of thy life by some things he said to me i understood that after his ascension he never came down to earth except in the most holy sacrament to communicate himself to any one he said to me that when he rose again he showed himself to our lady because she was in great trouble 
for sorrow had so pierced her soul that she did not even recover herself at once in order to have the fruition of that joy by this i saw how different was my piercing but what must that of the virgin have been he remained long with her then because it was necessary to console her on palm sunday at communion i was in a deep trance so much so that i was not able even to swallow the host and still having it in my mouth when i had come a little to myself i verily believed that my mouth was all filled with blood and my face and my whole body seemed to be covered with it as if our lord had been shedding it at that moment i thought it was warm and the sweetness i then felt was exceedingly great and our lord said to me daughter my will is that my blood should profit thee and be not thou afraid that my compassion will fail thee i shed it in much suffering and as thou seest thou hast the fruition of it in great joy i reward thee well for the pleasure thou givest me to-day he said this because i had been in the habit of going to communion if possible on this day for more than thirty years and of laboring to prepare my soul to be the host of our lord for i consider the cruelty of the jews to be very great after giving him so grand a reception in letting him go so far for supper and as i used to picture him as remaining with me and truly in the poor lodging as i see now and thus i used to have such foolish thoughts they must have been acceptable to our lord for this was one of the visions which i regard as most certain and accordingly it has been a great blessing to me in the matter of communion previous to this i had been i believe for three days in that great pain which i feel sometimes more than at others because i am away from god and during those days it had been very great and seemingly more than i could bear being thus exceedingly wearied by it i saw it was late to take my collation nor could i do so for if i did not take it a little earlier it occasions great weakness because of my sickness and then doing violence to myself i took up some bread to prepare for collation and on the instant christ appeared and seemed to be breaking the bread and putting it into my mouth he said to me eat my daughter and bear it as well as thou canst i condole with thee in thy suffering but it is good for thee now my pain was gone and i was comforted for he seemed to be really with me then and the whole of the next day and with this my desires were then satisfied the word condole made me strong for now i do not think i am suffering at all end of section four